And the Providence Mobile Newsroom moving to the capital city now where hundreds of students walked out of school late this morning and staged a protest march to the State House. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Colonian continues our team coverage now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Kim? Well, Mike Shannon, as President Trump was being sworn in, hundreds gathered here at the Rhode Island State House to protest his inauguration. Many of them high schoolers who walked out of their classrooms in favor of chanting and carrying signs. They came by the hundreds. It was amazing to see that a group of youth can do so much. A student organized protest at the State House Friday drew high schoolers from Providence and beyond. Teenagers walking out of their classrooms down city streets to converge on Smith Hill. I didn't expect as many people to be here, but the more the merrier. The students joined by adult volunteers, flanked by state and local police. A marching band announced their presence far and wide. <laughs> Cries of not my president and this is what democracy looks like filled the air. Students we spoke with say they may not be old enough to vote, but they still care about democracy, even if it means cutting class. We're serious about our education, but we're, all, we're serious about our future. We're serious, we're serious about what happens in the next four years. I think that it'll show like how much that students want to have a voice. And maybe, who knows, maybe they'll lower the voting age so that way kids our age can vote and we can actually have a say in our future. What kind of a difference do you think this is going to make? I think that this is definitely going to prove to anyone who was saying that we couldn't do it or that our, our voices don't matter. We're going to prove them all wrong. And the Providence Public School Department tells us more than 1,000 high school students decided to walk out of their classrooms today to take part in this protest. They will all be facing unexcused absences. The superintendent of Providence Public Schools also wants to thank the students who did stay in class. Reporting live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. A similar story here in Rhode Island, but much more peaceful. As we reported earlier this week, students in Providence walked out of school in protest at noon today, saying even though they couldn't vote, they still have a voice. Iowa News reporter Kim Kalunian is live in Providence with more on today's protests. Kim? Well, Mike Shannon, that's right. Hundreds of protesters gathered here at the Rhode Island State House today, many of them high schoolers chanting and carrying signs opposing the newly sworn in president. They say they're too young to vote, but not too young to make their voices heard. An inauguration day walkout. Youth do have a voice and that um, together we can do make unbelievable things happen. The student organized protest drew hundreds from Providence and beyond. Protesters converging on the State House lawn, chanting, Not my president, and carrying anti Trump signs. Trump is like a fraud, and he, he's got a lot of disrespectful things to say about people. He's against everything that we are. He, we're all minorities. He doesn't, he shows no respect or like courtesy toward us. So we're kind of reciprocating that. Tatiana Hall was one of the more than 1,000 Providence Public School students to walk out of class Friday. We're serious about our education, but we're, all, we're serious about our future. On the streets and at the State House, students flanked by state and local police. So we're here to make sure it's peaceful and safe. A peaceful protest, students say, is meant to be a reminder, youth matter. It was amazing to see that a group of youth can do so much. And it's hard to say exactly how many local students were at today's protest because they came from various districts and both public and private schools. But the Providence Public School Department tells us they had more than 1,000 of their high schoolers walk out of classrooms today to be at this protest. They will all be facing unexcused absences. Reporting live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.